You're watching ESC News. Thank you for joining us. At least seven buses carrying surrendered Ukrainian fighters left the Azovstal steel works escorted by pro-Russian armed forces on Tuesday, 17th of May, a Reuters witness said. Concerns grew on Wednesday for the welfare of more than 250 Ukrainian fighters who surrendered to Russian forces as the Azovstal steel works in Maripol after weeks of desperate resistance. The surrender brought an end to the most devastating siege of Russia's war in Ukraine and followed President Vladimir Putin to claim a rare victory in his flattering campaign, which many military analysts said has stalled. Buses left steelworks on Monday to, in a convoy escorted by Russian armoured vehicles. Five arrived at the Russian-held town of Novoskovak, where Moscow said wounded fighters will be treated. Seven buses carrying Ukrainian fighters from the Azovstal garrison arrived at the newly reopened prison in Russian-controlled town of Aleveka, near Donstak, a Rodis witness said. Russians said that at least 256 Ukrainian fighters had laid down their arms and surrendered, including 51 severely wounded. Ukraine said 264 soldiers, including 53 wounded, had left. The TASS new agency said that the Russian Investigation Committee planned to question the soldiers, many of members of the Azov Battalion, as part of an investigation into what Moscow calls Ukrainian regime crimes. Russian Defense Minister video showed fighters leaving the plant, some carried on stretchers, others with hands up to be searched by Russian troops. There were some women aboard and at least one of the buses on a Lika, Radisk video showed. While both sides spoke in a deal under which Ukrainian troops would be abandoned the steelworks, many details were not yet public, including in how many fighters were still remained inside and whether any form of prisoner swap had been arranged. The Kremlin had said Putin had personally guaranteed that the prisoners would be treated according to international standards and the Ukrainian officials said that they could be exchanged for Russian captives. Ukrainian Deputy Prime Minister Irania Vashkinchuk said Kiev aimed to arrange a prisoner swap for the wounded once their coalition stabilised.